you want to know how to easily, easily rack the slide on a modern semi-auto pistol and lock it open when you want to, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more defensive firearms instruction videos like this one. I'm Riley Schrader, a retired cop and personal firearms trainer. I help new and veteran shooters get and improve their defensive firearms skills by teaching the art, science, and laws of self-defense. Being able to rack the slide in your pistol and also being able to lock the slide open are critical tasks in your mechanical skill set. They're directly related to loading the pistol and clearing stoppages. Today, I'm going to show you some techniques that will allow you to easily rack the slide on a modern semi-auto pistol. Then I'm going to show you how to lock the slide open when the task calls for it. It's truly not about how much arm strength you have, but it is all about the technique. Here we go. Let's cover some quick nomenclature. Here's the slide. This is the slide lock lever. And this little notch right there is the slide lock lever notch. Racking the slide is the process of pulling the slide completely to the rear and then releasing it so you can operate the action. Locking the slide or locking the slide open is the process of pulling the slide to the rearmost position and then using the slide lock lever to keep it in that open position. Another term for this is slide lock. If you look close here, you can see that this spring is under compression now because the slide is locked in this open position. Depending on the make and model of a particular semi-auto pistol, there may be more or less actual poundage or pressure in this spring for you to overcome in your procedures. If you look a little bit closer, right here, you'll see this notch in the slide itself. That's where the slide lock lever is going to be engaging when the slide is in the fully open position like this. If you're having trouble racking the slide, try this to make it easier. Hold the pistol in your, your master grip, your master firing grip, and then push with this hand and pull with the other hand at the same time. Make sure that you keep this ejection port clear because you want the expended brass or the incorrectly functioning cartridge to be able to eject out. So you're going to push this way and pull this way at the same time. Just like that. That's racking the slide. The key to making this technique very easy for you is to do this procedure very suddenly. If you try and be gentle with it and gently slowly pull this to the rear, you're going to have to overcome all that spring tension over a longer period of time and it's going to be difficult. If you push forward and pull in the opposite direction suddenly at the same time, it'll be relatively easy for you. Since you're not shooting the gun or preparing to, you don't need to maintain your master grip. Adjust your hand and your right thumb so you can get the maximum amount of leverage and position on the bottom of the slide lock lever. Hold the pistol firmly and push up on the slide lock lever and maintain that upward pressure. Grab the slide just like you would when you're going to rack it with your heel of your hand and the tips of your fingers to get a good grip. Do the same opposite direction pushing this way with your master hand and this way with your support hand until you feel that slide lock lever move up into the slide lock lever notch and then you have locked the slide open. The pressure on the slide lock lever will keep 
the slide lock to the rear. A workaround for you to lock the slide open is to simply use an empty magazine. If the magazine follower and the internal portion of the slide lock lever are both working properly, when you pull the slide all the way to the rear, it will lock all by itself without you having to put any upward pressure on that slide lock lever. I don't recommend this to use as your normal procedure because you do need to know how to lock the slide open for loading and stoppage clearance procedures, but it is a short-term workaround. In this video, I showed you some simple methods of how to rack and lock the slide open on a typical modern semi-auto pistol. There are some other methods of racking the slide, but these fall squarely into the emergency use category and are properly the subject of another video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some of those emergency techniques. Remember to click the subscribe and notification buttons to stay updated on all the defensive firearms instruction videos and please share this video and the channel with people in your tribe. Help educate them too. To schedule your personal firearms training session with me or to set up a personal firearms training program for yourself, contact me through the website. The link is in the description below. I'm Riley Schrader and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time with more defensive firearms instruction.